so i got uh, interview calls from nokia and amazon and apple map india and they were uh, asking me to join in bangalore so i was not interested in bangalore so i have not appeared in apple and uh, that apple india as well nokia hey folks welcome to trendy tech this is mansa nagraj with another interesting podcast a journey from the service based company to a product based company well our guest for today is vishal who started off his career like many other engineers here in india with infosys and now working in one of the top product based companies very soon well his motive behind uh, choosing the company that he wanted to work for was slightly different uh, it wasn't just about getting the highest hike on his salary but rather in satisfying his hunger for learning and growing by working on challenging projects with the latest technology stack isn't that inspiring well if you are interested in knowing the secrets to prepare for the product based companies then stay tuned till the end so hey vishal thank you so much for joining us today hope you're doing great and uh, how is verizon treating you yeah uh, it's great to uh, uh, listen to you i'm doing great in verizon i'm just uh, about to complete 3 months in the state of august so culture is good and uh, technology stack what i was expecting that is also as per expectation all good well uh, yeah so i would uh, firstly would like to request you to introduce yourself uh, to our audience and um, we would be really uh, looking forward to know about your journey and experience as well if you could uh, give a brief introduction about yourself so currently i am working uh, as a software engineer 3 uh, consultant in data engineering in horizon earlier uh, i w- i was working as a system engineer in big data and gcp domain my dream was to work on one of the any uh, product based firm so uh so i heard from the society and the people that uh, uh, dsa is one more one, one, one most of the required thing to get place in uh, a product based firm so but uh, from the starting i was interested in uh, big data and data things so uh, in that way i started with the uh, working on uh, big data project then enrolled in uh, uh, sumit sir course there i got uh, resume building session and one to one session weekly session uh, where i got mentorship in that way uh, i got uh, opportunity to work on a big data uh, i mean to say in product based form in that way i started i started as a beginner but i know uh, i know i'm good uh, company in good position okay that's interesting well um i believe that uh, transitioning from a service based company to a product based company wouldn't have been that easy right so how did you plan and manage yes. to upskill yourself in spite of working on challenging projects already while when you know, while you were with infosys Yes, yes, it was pretty much challenging to complete the twenty-week course of Sumit sir. Uh, everyone knows it is properly structured, and Sumit sir is very—I mean to say—focusing uh, on structured and committed way of delivering the program. Uh, they suggest don't jump to the another week like in a hurry. Go step by step and in organized way. In that way, you will uh, achieve success by getting knowledge. So week one, two, three till twenty, I completed. It was challenging for me. I I sacrificed many my uh, weekends and uh, movie watching for six months. I just given my all weekends there, completed assignment, attended Sumit sir's uh, morning one to one calls, mentoring sessions, and getting my resume uh, reviewed by the team. In that way, whole six months was challenging. After that, everything was smooth. When I am talking about technical stack, when I am talking about in, uh, experience, it's all good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I have managed it. Okay. Well, uh, that's interesting. I feel the key takeaway here is getting the right opportunities, uh, more so the right resources to which you can learn, and, uh, and that too in a you know like at the right moment, correct? So uh, yeah, definitely. I I hope the Big Data Masters program helped you out um, in a very good way, and uh, whatever the efforts that you have put in has really paid off, right? Um, Verizon, and one of the top product based companies, it's like uh, a dream job come true, correct? Yes. Right. And uh, yeah, moving on. Um, well, an, a pretty you know like uh, important question where most of the uh, audience as well would like to understand: How did you prepare for the interviews? Like, um, what were the key uh, changes that you made in your resume, for instance? And uh, what were the different platforms through which you uh, applied for uh, the companies? As uh, as we all know that uh, resume is one of the first thing uh, through which you will uh, uh, interact with your recruiter. getting your resume shortlisted is one of the first thing you might uh, expect so for shortlisting purpose so your uh, like resume should be uh, be specific and uh, having key points there 
so after completing my 20 weeks program uh, i was very confident about my skills and my uh, big data stack so i have uh, appeared for the gcp data engineer exam currently it is the one of the uh, toughest exam also trending now because BigQuery, Dataflow, Dataproc, they are like giving the solution of the real time uh, problem and use cases. So I, I got myself certified and uh, I participated in some GCP hackathons. Mm -hmm. All those things I have added in my uh, resume. In this way, my uh, resume was as per the market demand and as well as uh, I was confident about my skills. So I got uh, interview calls from Nokia and amazon and apple map india and they were uh, asking me to join in bangalore so i was not interested in bangalore so i have not appeared in uh, uh, apple and uh, that apple india as well nokia because uh, all we know the rush is, there is too much rush in bangalore mm -hmm. right. yeah in future i will relocate if needed that's fine that is one thing so i have added those things in the resume and uh, uh, sumit says course resume building session also helped me okay. Nice. Um, that's exceptional. Like uh, you could get a chance to participate in hackathons and uh, and even the certifications that you did uh, that really added value to your resume. I feel and um, yeah, that's a good takeaway from this uh, session wherein uh, the audience could you know like participate in such um, hackathons and uh, coding tests so that it will improve your confidence levels. Definitely agree on that. Uh, Vishal. Yes. Um, well, moving on. Um, uh, as per your experience, what were the major technologies uh, that were crucial to clear majority of the interviews? Let me tell you one thing. People say like uh, SQL is very easy. Yeah, fine. And it's great yeah, to hear their like things. But uh, when you are in an uh, interview sitting for one hour, uh, most of, I will say all of them have started, uh, uh, I mean to say interview by asking uh, SQL queries. I mean to say complex SQL query where we uh, write some having clause and uh, group by clause. So uh, all of them asked uh, and even in Amazon interview uh, in live coding, he has given one SQL question. So I would say to the aspirants uh, prepare for SQL. That is first thing. Second, uh, uh, they will ask uh, uh, Spark or optimization uh, thing. How you will uh, manage a node cluster and memory out of error. Those things real case. It happens. That's why they have. Uh, uh, when we are working on big project, we have to manage the cluster cost that is uh, directly having, I mean to say impact on business revenue, means uh, cluster cost we have to manage and memory out of error, those things. And the third thing is that uh, they ask if you are going for uh, a specific cloud based role like AWS data engineer and Google cloud based database engineer. So, so based on the service and tools, they will ask some uh, overview of uh, services provided like uh, for amazon they will ask redshift in google uh, data engineer they will ask for bigquery in that way these three things are important okay right interesting the major uh, concepts that's uh, you know like the distributed processing and also since many of the companies are moving to cloud migrating to cloud definitely cloud is also picking up really yeah we, uh, agree on that um yeah so that was uh, informative and uh, the next uh, important thing that i would want to know um, from you is what were the key factors uh, that you considered while uh, you know applying for the company, shortlisting the companies and applying for it? Uh, was it like um, the projects that they were into or the tech stack? Or sometimes mostly people focus on CTC as well. What was your key yeah, factors? Sure, yeah, sure. Yeah, uh, all we know currently inflation is on high. Suppose, uh, I will take my example. Uh, during, uh, I have just resigned, okay? And I was uh, in my notice period. And uh, after one month completing notice period, uh, my mother diagnosed with three artery blocked. Uh, so 100% two, two block, 70% one block. So they asked for placing a stent in uh, artery in heart. So, uh, so consider like uh, in that case, people have to met uh, family challenges and, uh, and money will play a crucial role uh, to have in good uh, medical health. Okay. So that's why. Um, so the thing is that company culture also matters. CTC is not only the one thing one should consider, other thing also they should consider, like means uh, work culture and if a uh, shift they can work on, I mean to say some people want to work at 9, nine to 5 or or they uh, some people want to work on shifts, it depends. The thing is that I was looking for uh, culture, I have completed 4 years in Infosys. The, my take away from Infosys is that there is so much flexibility to choose the project, uh, you can uh, switch the domain, they will allow you uh, through an internal job posting 
so yeah i've completed four years now i was uh, looking for a little bit change so i was looking like a uh, good company culture similar to infosys so i got to know about many companies uh, so verizon is one of the best company uh, providing same culture okay, okay. so i have joined uh, uh, Verizon, uh, they were paying me as per the market standards. Uh, I also got to know that uh, employees are care, uh, paid well. There is a vacations they provide, their dental, uh, uh, I mean to say insurance like that. So good uh, uh, opportunity as well as uh, culture. I totally agree with you there. Um, it's very important to have a proper uh, work-life balance. Uh, definitely it's required for you to, uh, you know, like work at the optimum possible. So um, being in an environment like that, uh, where um, the work supports you, uh, it'll be really excellent and uh, it, it would bring in more of creativity in you as well, I feel. So totally agree on you and I yes. really like your thought process there and um, the way you, even though you had certain uh, challenges that you were facing at that time, but still you went ahead and, um, you know, like um, gave it um, the, the values that you wanted to be in. That was really nice. Um, Vishal, that's excellent. So I have got five offers. Mm -hmm. Okay. So after giving the interview of uh, Verizon, I just, just done some research. I stopped giving interview and I mean, say no, because uh, as I told my mother got uh, hospitalized. So uh, after that, I uh, stopped giving interview. It was fair enough. Like, and I, I just interacted with Sumit sir and team also to choose the best one. Mm -hmm. They suggested to go for Verizon. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Nice Vishal. Um, well, um, I would also like to understand how did you deal with this notice period because a lot of our learners and also a lot of the audience, yeah. they like, they're struggling with the notice period. How, how did you try to manage? Um, I mean, like if you could give some information there. Yeah, Mansa. Yeah, it's a very crucial thing. Actually, the thing is that three months is a long period. So three months and this situation, medical situation in uh, my family. So the thing is that companies should consider uh, two month notice period at least it means uh, do changes gradually don't uh, do revolutionary change uh, uh, at least uh, take some st steps from employer side take some steps from employee side two months it's good but three months 90 days is a huge time i mean sir when uh, someone has resigned so half mind uh, he has i mean to say as like uh, i mean to say i have no words to explain that situation but it is very challenging to be three months after resigning right. Because you are loving and hating in the same time. You have some love and hate mm -hmm. for your employer at the same time. I agree on that. Yeah, totally. But um, yeah, that's how. But I was loving. Yeah. I was having good time. I just uh, 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 informed to my manager that this is my medical condition in my home. Mm -hmm. So they cooperated okay. means at the time of my uh, notice period. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. That was really nice of them uh, to consider that as well. So, uh, well, yeah. Um, so you try to plan yourself during the notice period and prepare for the interviews as well parallelly and um, you got to attend the interviews a lot of offers uh, and multiple interviews you've attended right yeah okay. yes so how about uh, the interview rounds and uh, you know like uh, were they similar or did you find anything challenging or different in uh, your interviews no no there was a lot of difference uh, let me tell about one of them and see uh, uh, that is Tiger Analytics. So they started with uh, one question of sorting. No big data question. They started with uh, sorting. Choose a language in your form. So I choose for uh, Python. So and if I talk about Amazon, they started with the uh, live coding. They will have some uh, short introduction session. Then they given two question for live coding. And I was sharing screen and solving the question. So uh, means based on company uh, the type of question type of start of the interview will change yeah in amazon uh, you will uh, uh, means amazed to know that before you uh, yourself introducing they will int give into uh, means introduction to their self what they are doing for four years in company that is very good yeah so this give flex yeah so that way in our horizon uh, actually i was interviewed for gcp data engineer role so uh, most of the question from GCP side and Spark, Spark side. Okay. Well, yeah, Spark is really important uh, as for my conversation with you, Spark. And how about Hive? Did, uh, did you get any queries uh, around Hive? Yeah, Hive, they've asked uh, some uh, Hive queries mm -hmm. and uh, Hive, uh, there are some Hive optimization technique also. Mm -hmm. So query optimization. So Sumit sir has covered all things, mm -hmm. uh, is uh, query level optimization mm -hmm. and, uh, and like syntactic sugar mm -hmm. and those uh, questions. Right. that way Correct. good uh, i think everything is covered in the uh, 20 weeks program you can 
I mean, everyone can estimate 20 week is a good uh, length, of course. Right. Well, uh, did you uh, have to learn anything beyond from the course? Like, um, as you took it as a major uh, uh, part to learn your big data, right? Uh, apart from the course, was there anything else additional that you had to prepare on? Yes, yes. Uh, so, as uh, uh, we know, that cloud is booming. So, I, I was preparing for cloud also. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, and I believe in multi cloud. Why? Why? Companies should also be uh, go for multi-cloud because suppose cloud A provider company has increased the price of their infrastructure. Then if all things are in A, they will take profit of it. Now, if cloud B is providing less uh, cost, mm -hmm. I think I mean to say uh, do half, uh, uh, I mean, uh, save the data in cloud A, half in cloud B so that they will not uh, I means take profit of us. Right, yeah. So that they, I, I hope you are yeah, getting my point okay. in this way. In this way, we will be a multi uh, means a multi cloud. So that way, I have learned Azure also, and it is also great to know that uh, uh, Sumit sir is about to launch a Azure Data Engineering okay. course. Yeah, that's also there. And moreover, it's, yeah. uh, it shouldn't be that difficult to pick up another uh, uh, cloud provider when you already are aware of one. So AWS is also covered as part of the course. So uh, definitely, it wouldn't have been such a challenging uh, task to ex explore the other cloud providers. I feel correct. Yes, yes. Uh, because only the name of the services yeah. change. Uh, end of the day, VM is VM, that is virtual machine. If you say EC2 or whatever you say, names are changed, VM are working as VM. Well, um, finally, I would um, I would like to know from you if you could highlight the top three learnings from your journey. Yeah, so, okay, so three things from my journey is, I think, I, I mean to say, uh, I hesitated to uh, invest, uh, to audience, I want to say, never hesitate to invest in the uh, learning because Investment in learning gives the best interest. This is said by someone great uh, educationist. That is, this is not not more uh, my uh, uh, statement. The third thing is that uh, sorry, second thing is that uh, always be inconsistent in learning. I mean to say, don't think that it is long course, twenty weeks. How I will do? Think about step by step. Okay, go for step by step and have faith in your mentor or leader to whom you are referring. Because end of the day, if you don't have faith you will not continue faith is first thing then you will continue okay this is second thing faith is good and third thing is that after learning and getting achievement try to help as much as possible to others because you will say uh, means i want a good word happy world to live so how to make it means after lifting after lifting others after bringing to the same level all people will be happy. So help others and share the knowledge so that they can also lift. This is why I say uh, in the world of professional, be kind first because in this line, there is a lot of space and we give, I mean to say, we get blessing of others and in this way we grow. That's why it's three things. Excellent. Those were really valuable and uh, I really appreciate the way you yeah. think and um, you approach as well. So um, thank you so much for your time. And uh, I really believe that a lot of our audience got to learn um, from your experience, um, as well as the tips that you shared. Thank you so much for joining in today and uh, wishing you loads of success in your future endeavors. Thank you so much, Vishal. Yeah, Mansa. Yeah, yeah Mansa. I also want to say something for Sumit, sir. Actually, uh, he is an incredible mentor. My whole family, including mother, uh, is uh, like a frailing gratitude for, uh, I mean to say, his uh, mentorship. So I hope that uh, uh, Sumit sir and team grow as much as possible. Uh, they are uh, working great for Indians and as well as other countries uh, in terms of mentoring them. And uh, uh, I mean to say, Trendy Tech team and Sumit sir take care of their students uh, until, uh, means until they achieve their success. Yeah, thanks. Thank you, Vishal. Thank you so Jai much. Jai Bharat. Well, I hope you found the podcast helpful. Do let me know in the comment section if you're looking forward for more such podcasts. Well, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, do subscribe and hit on that bell icon for more such latest big data updates.